Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Tuesday, um, June the 3rd of 2014, and if you recall, um, a few months back I did a, a video back when I had the this Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT over on my other desk for that short time. Um, had to move it back over here because it just didn't feel right for some reason, but I digress. Anyway, um, a few months ago I did a video where um, I just did like I'm doing now. I've just put the, my video camera on the tripod, um, put it up to the monitor here on my Packard Bell, and um, we played some Fatty Bear Birthday Surprise. It was just a real laid-back, casual style video, and you know, I, I, got, I was in the mood tonight to do another one. Um, however, I, I wasn't really in the mood for an, for an, an another adventure game. Um, Still my favorite genre, but just but tonight I just don't have the energy to make that long of a video. <laughs> so we're gonna go with something a little bit more simple tonight. And this game is really, 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 really special to me. And I'll tell you why. This game I received the day after my original Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT was purchased back in December of 1995. And my dad brought it, brought that that game home along with um, two other computer games, um, Just Grandma and Me um, and The Berenstain Bears Get in a Fight. Both of those are living books games. But the other one he brought home that day was um, a Sierra game, and it's hard to go wrong with Sierra. And this game pretty much became one of my all-time favorite computer games ever. And I have it with me right here. Uh, 3D Ultra Pinball by Sierra. A very, very awesome game. And this happens to be my original copy. Um, the jewel case is different, but the, uh, the book and the disc itself are original. This, um, like I said, means this game has a lot of history for me, so um, I'm very excited to play it. Um, and not only um, is it nostalgic, um, overall it's just a fun game to play. Um, if you like pinball, it's one of the best um, pinball computer games from the 90s, in my opinion. Um, this goes right up along with um, Epic Pinball by Epic Mega Games, although I did not own that game when I was a kid, although, I, however, I do, I did get a copy of it a few years ago and played it for the first time, and I love that game as well. But, um, let's, uh, go ahead and close out the screensaver. And, let's, uh, here's the, uh, the original disc. With all the little scratches on the bottom of it from the past 19 years or so I've owned this which um, despite this the, the game still works so we'll go ahead and open the CD-ROM pop it in there and let's play some pinball and you know and just just in general um, pinball um, has always been a um, a favorite game of mine. Um, I may have mentioned this before. Um, I've loved it ever since I was a kid, and that's probably why I fell in love with this game back in 1995. Um, because I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before. Actually, I have mentioned this. It's just been a while. But back in the 90s, my dad owned a convenience store here in Greensboro called Coors Daytona, and um, back then um, he would have um, like arcade machines in his actual store and that and I would always play those and that that was an amazing experience I remember he had a some kind of arcade game that was a a bowling game it was just in a regular um arcade cabinet like you would see at a, an actual arcade but um instead of like a little joystick it was just this little um giant ball that you would roll to for bowling but not only did he have um, an arcade machine there, he would also, um, and it wasn't just one, um, he would um, have them switched out every now and then, um, he would also have pinball machines. And even before um, I knew what a computer was, I was playing those pinball machines at his store like mad. And I just fell in love with the concept of pinball. 
So um, it was. Um, I was obviously very excited to be able to play um, pinball on my Packard Bell, as we will be doing right now. Take a look at the opening um, animation here. You can tell they put a lot of work into this game. Hey, it's Sierra. They're awesome like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Adding to the awesomeness of this game um, is some good old-fashioned um, MIDI music. All right, we'll um, hit the play bin pinball button. Uh, we'll just play the colony level for now if I don't run out of energy um, by the end of the by the end of this table um, we might play another. <laughs> okay. Colony table this activated. is weird. To start bonus events, hit the glider twice. Good luck. It's uh there it's artifacting. Um it's I've seen it do it on other Packard Bells before, but I've never seen it do it on my 822. This is all completely new to me. I don't get what... And believe me, I am not happy about this. <laughs> because it's never done it on this, on this computer before. And of all the computers for it to do it on, why this one? discovered the other day that the speakers I have attached to this um, Packard Bell monitor here, um, well, one of the wires has a short in it, so I have to, and it's the left speaker that does it, so I have to wiggle the wire a little bit every now and then to get it to start going again. I do have some other speakers I could attach to this uh, monitor that were made by Packard Bell, but uh, I just don't feel like it at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I do not know why it's artifacting like this. Like I said, it's happened before on other Packard Bells before, but and I played it on this particular Packard Bell 822 um, a ton of times for the past year I've had this computer, and it's never done this before. So I don't know what what causes this. I've been doing that a lot tonight. <laughs> As you can tell, the overall theme of this um, game is outer space, which is a common theme on a lot of pinball machines and computer games and video games. How do I keep 
keep doing that. I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing, but... <laughs> This game also has a ton of sequels to it. Um, believe it or not, I have never played any of the sequels. I do own a copy of, uh, I believe it's three oh Ultra Pinball um, Creep Nights. I've owned that CD for the last two years, but I've never gotten around to trying it. <laughs> but no, no matter what, nothing's, nothing's gonna be good old-fashioned original 3D Ultra Pinball. Even if it does artifact like crazy. Okay, let's go to another. Let's just start a new game. I'm gonna try another uh, table. Let's try the command post. I doubt it's gonna be any better, but uh, not. Looks just as bad. Command post table up and just check a few preferences. To uh, back alley lanes to initiate bonus events. Good luck. Okay, that didn't do a darn thing, so there's really no fix for this, unfortunately. <laughs> We're just gonna have to live with it. And I've tried multiple copies of this, and it still does the same thing. But again, like I said, this is the first time it's ever done it on this particular machine. And with this being my uh, my main um, computer for 90s gaming, that's not a good thing. Because this is an awesome game, I don't want to have glitch out on me. I know my original 822 from the 90s did not do this. The voices in this game make me feel like I should be watching some kind of Eurythmix music video from the early 80s. Keep feeling fascination. I promise I will not sing that ever again. This artifact thing's gonna drive me crazy! <laughs> okay, um, this is getting too much for me. Let's just get out of that for now. I'm, I'll have to figure out what's going on and, um, uh, to make this um, a more successful video, I guess we can um, 
play another game. Um, so let me go find one, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I did make a small discovery here. Um, actually, I've known about this for a while, but I just remembered this. Um, on um, Packard Bells that have that weird um, glitch with 3D Ultra Pinball, it only happens in Windows 95. And it's uh, and it works perfectly under Windows 3.1. Now, I could switch to the um, Windows 3.1 CF card I had for this Packard Bell, but it's not available at the moment. <laughs> um, but it will be um, tomorrow, um, so maybe sometime this week I can redo this video for more 3D Ultra Pinball. But um, until then, um, we're going to fill the void with um, this. And no, we're not going to be playing Putt-Putt Joins the Parade. Um, we're going to be playing all three, or maybe all four, um, actually, of the Humongous Entertainment Classic demos. Now, um, what these are are the um, the demos, you know, for the for Humongous Entertainment products from back in the day. Um, even though I had all these back then, um, I still like playing with the demos for some reason. I can't explain why. It was like they were they were in their own little world. Um, it was neat seeing like the differences between the demo and the actual game. Um, I was weird then, and I'm weird now. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, um, this is the uh, the my again my original copy of Putt Putt Joins the Parade. Um, one of my all-time nostalgic classics. Um, you can see the big crack in the case from all the years I've had this. There's the back of it. And um, here's the inside of it with the um, original disc. Again, just like 3D Ultra Pinball. Um, look at all those scratches on the bottom of it <laughs> from over the years. But again, it still plays perfectly well. So I'll stick this in the CD-ROM drive. I really should test stuff before I show it on camera. <laughs> Alright, we're going to close out of the auto run, um, actually. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, CD directory for this. Uh, let's see. Catalog, this is the folder we need. And here we go. Yeah, this is the catalog program for um, Humongous Entertainment. It's the Humongous Entertainment Interactive Catalog and Demos. So, I suppose we should do it in chronological order. Um, the Airport and the Farm, those are awesome games, but I don't feel like doing their demos tonight. <laughs> uh, no, that'll, that'll be for another day, but we'll do it in chronological order. We'll start with the first Humongous game, Pup Hut Joins the Parade. Help Pup Pup get into the Car Town Pet Parade. Visit the fire station, get a car wash, over 30 places to explore. Alright, so let's click here for demo. Well, I think we'll just do that. Um, thank you for, thank you very much for this awesome offer, um, Humongous. It's good to be playing a computer game with no graphical artifacts. Good morning, Cartown. Wake up all you. And the voice sounds different on the radio. Because today is the Cartown Pet Parade. When you have this game, you can help Pot Pot find a pet and a balloon. And get him all cleaned up so he can march in the parade. Don't be a crankcase. Get in gear and join the fun. That sounds great. Also notice, um, this is kind of odd, there's no, um, <laughs> there's no gauge on the gas gauge. <laughs> and, and you click it, and Papa doesn't even say anything, so, yeah. <laughs> and there's no, yeah, though, there's no needle on the gas gauge, no needle on the speedometer either. Yeah, that just does the same thing. Same music, by the way, um, if you haven't been able to tell. So far, it's 
very similar. Um, we click this pond here and have a massive explosion of fish and the shark. And look, it's a cow. My cow had an infection. It was mad cow disease. Now I can keep on driving. All right, let's go on. Well, if you want to, um, that's completely different from the actual game. And we can go ahead and get the free bird seed. How would you like to deliver some groceries, huh? You can see the whole yes and no interface from this game looks completely different. <laughs> yes. You can deliver these to number three, Green Street. For good luck. But we will not be doing that because notice this. It just awkwardly ends right there. The entire demo just ends at that moment. <laughs> You don't even get to deliver those groceries or anything. It's just, yeah, it was. It makes me think the demo's kind of incomplete. But anyway, um, let's try out Fatty Bear's birthday surprise. Help your favorite stuffed animals plan a party. All right, we'll go ahead and start the demo. Hmm, Alfred Hitchcock presents. Hey, you're not the real fatty bear. Here we go, Fatty Bear's birthday surprise, the demo edition. Hi there, I'm Fatty Bear. Kayla's birthday is tomorrow morning, so we've been getting ready for her party. Yeah? We need that cake plate in a hurry. Matilda Rabbit sounds very different in this demo. And also, in the actual game, there's no, there's never any mention of a cake plate. Um, you only get the cake plate in the demo. And you can see the backyard looks completely different. Um, the garden's there, but there's no um, bowling, and there's no uh, oh, um, tree house, and there's also no um, back door to the house. So, yeah. That kind of seems like a safety hazard. <laughs> And also, if you notice here, you can actually go inside the cellar from out from the outside, whereas in the real game you have to go down the laundry chute in the bathroom. And there's no washing machine or clothespin. And no laundry chute either. This game is just one complete dirt nail. Now I can get in the garage. Well, that's pretty um true to the regular game. Right, go back to the front of the house. Open the door. And um, there's no sugar, but instead there's a cake plate. Again, this was not in the this is not in the actual Fatty Bear game. Matilda needs for the birthday cake. Now All I can right. go in the house and make Kayla's cake. And we'll go ahead and do that. Well, I could really go some for, for some cake now for some reason. <laughs> All right, let's go in the house. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. We'll finish getting ready in the real game. 
and the demo ends here. Hey everybody, I found the cake plate. You silly chubby. Whoa. <laughs> that sounded kind of painful. I'm glad we didn't get to see inside there. We could have seen a teddy bear bleed. Which would have been kind of morbid for a children's game if you ask me. And let's try Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. Let Putt Putt take your child out of this world. <laughs> they made a pun. Completely different looking logo. One big difference here is that the instead of the the music is the music from Putt Putt Joins the Parade instead of Putt Putt Goes to the Moon. It looks like I'm stuck on the moon. I need to find a way back to Earth. I guess the the demo was made before they made the music for the actual game, so they had to wow. fall back to the parade music. Also, um, Moon City looks a lot more empty. Um, there's no, uh, there's no Moon City Diner, um, for one thing. You get the, da the gas station, and but you don't have that little road going to the rest of the town. But you do get the rocket ship. And um, unlike the actual game, um, you can actually take one of these ice cream cones, which we will be needing in this demo. And the Moon City Hall is still here, although there's just one key this time. And Governor Moonbeam sounds a lot more drunk in the demo, if you ask me. Yeah, he's he's definitely drunk. We'll just give him this ice cream cone. Maybe that will sober him up. Ice cream? Why, thank you, Put Put. You. Feel free to take the key in the case. Uh, well, it, at least he didn't ask us to do any good deeds. That always sounded kind of suspicious to me. Yeah, I like how the key is just placed there in the <laughs> inventory bin. We'll go back to the rocket ship. We'll unlock it. Hooray! Now I can go inside. Hmm. It looks like this rocket is missing some parts. I'll have to find the parts before I can get back home. I better get busy and find them. See you later. And that's the end of this demo. And we got one more demo to try out. Um, the original Freddy Fish in the case of the missing kelp seeds. Help Freddy Fish find the seeds and save her friends. Um, not many people realize this, but Freddy Fish is actually a girl. Alright, let's get into here. Oh no, okay, there we go. Thought my battery was dying. Uh, pretty much the same intro as before on the actual game.
battery. Please don't do this to me. And you notice one big difference here is that um, it takes you straight to the part where you have to rescue that fish out of the cave, which in its even it itself is kind of different. Like you can go ahead and get the wooden plank there. Gabby, mommy's coming. Gabby. <laughs> I gotta do a full video on this, on the real version of this game sometime. And we can pull her out. Oh, oh, oh. I'm giving it all I got, Captain. Ooh, my favorite song from this game. Oh yes, Freddy Fish, making underwater cool five years before Spongebob even existed. And you go inside the cave and it takes you straight to the whale bones. And unlike in the actual game where you're inside the old whale bones, you can actually go down this way. And now we're here. And this whole scene is all flipped around. He's usually on this side here. Don't worry, Gabby. We have something to pry the rock off your fin. Yeah, they pretty much um, mirrored the whole um, scene. Which we will not be needing in this demo, but oh well. Luther, come help. Yeah, you lazy bum. Mommy! Gabby! My Gabby! Thank you, Bob. You're welcome, Mrs. Allen. Please take the purpose of the for saving my Gabby. Hey! And I believe this is the end of this demo. Yes, it is. All right, that's enough demos for one night. But yeah, um, those were the humongous entertainment game demos. Um, it's funny. This video was originally going to be about um, <laughs> 3D Ultra Pinball, but things took a unexpected um, detour. But oh well, I meant to. I was meaning to do a video about the uh, humongous entertainment demos at some point anyway, so I guess it wound up being tonight. <laughs> so I guess um, before my battery dies on the camera, this is Billy Core signing off on June 3rd, 2014. Good night everybody.